Hey, mister. That's one nice-looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one to catfish Jackson's. Sure, why not? Ready? Let's go. One, honestly, please. <laughs> It's me. Welcome back, Arthur. Stupid thing I ever heard. Aside from all the other stupid things he used to say, of course. But now I know exactly what he meant. Guess that's age for you. Humble, better men than me. And Arthur! Me Arthur, get over here! Like I deserve. Hey, 
Look out, old man. What do you want? Well, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know. Small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turn off. So how'd you find out about this what place? What are you doing? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rhodes a bit. Rhodes? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> Are you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me, run him with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Mm. Maybe we should cut you open. Count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm going to see out my days. We're going to cut up well, this way. I'll believe it when I see it. All right, let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses flopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ, I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake him up. Oh, oh. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, this here is a rusty padlock. Shit, you hear that? Get your gun out. Close the gap, boys! Ah! Ah! That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. 
He said he ain't gonna wake I'll up, and we ain't out. seen him yet. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Got it. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. OK. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. 
This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Okay, girl. Take long, girl.
Oh, hello. Oh, been a while since you were around this way. Got some bills to pay, huh? Bye. You looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? Try looking for that one out by Catfish Jackson's. And when you get him and his cronies, tell him that we're just railway workers here. Not instruments of tyranny or however they phrase it. Imbeciles. That's all. Well, hello again. I got another one then. You interested? How's things, Alden? Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. Easy now.
my friend. I Someone's coming. Might be about to a warrant. This hunk of dead meat used to be called the Millimon. Okay, put him out the back there. Probably best it ended. Up there, you know? This Holy town don't shit. need any more of its dirty Look laundry. Where the there. heck you're going? Shit. Guess you feel mighty high bringing him in. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. That's it. Oh, 
Okay, my girl. 